pew, pew. Hey jerks, this is how to buy a used Miata if you're a girl. Step number one, go on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and say, hey, I'm looking for a Miata. Does anybody, is anybody selling a Miata? When you get the inevitable hundred or so responses of thirsty guys trying to sell you their Miata, mostly for dates and favors and stuff like that, you can narrow down your choices to what you're really looking for. Step number two, pick the right color. You want to make sure that the color matches a lot of your style, your personal wardrobe, your shoes, maybe your purse and stuff like that. So you always want to look on fleek when you're driving around with the top down because everybody will see you. Um, it absolutely helps to have a darker color Miata if you have blonde hair and a lighter colored Miata like this white one if you have really, really dark hair. And it's really just a contrast thing to really get eyes on you as you're driving around. Along those lines is you have three different places to put all of your hair ties. Um, you can put them on the on the gear shift like most people do. You can put them on this handy little brake uh, uh, stick right there. And this is so much room for hair ties. So make sure that you know you're never going to run out of hair ties. And uh, chances are you're going to lose about 90 of them. But uh, you should have one somewhere in this car because there's so many places to put them. Step number three that you're gonna look for is, can the radio play your Taylor Swift MP3s? Now, most of these older uh, Miatas are gonna have a different stereo than what they came with. And that's good because the original stereo was just radio and tape. And um, that, that's not gonna work for Taylor Swift MP3s. Um, also, a little bit later they put a, a CD in it, but you're still screwed because A, it's not going to play MP3 CDs, and how the fuck would you record MP3s on a CD these days anyway? Your Mac Pro doesn't even have an optical drive. So you want to make sure that whatever aftermarket stereo somebody put in um, either has a USB connection right here where you can uh, put your little thumb drive in there or an aux cable so that you can play your iPhone MP3s. Um, uh, even better if, if it has Bluetooth, then that way you can stream Pandora or Spotify uh, your Taylor Swift channel. So um, there you go. You want to make sure that the radio is all set up for Taylor Swift MP3s. Now another thing you want to look for in the inside of the car is the cup holders. Now cup holders are kind of like an extra. They, I don't think Miatas came with the cup holders. They, these originally, uh, this is originally the ashtray. If this doesn't already come with the, the cup holders, uh, you can get them. So, I mean, because where else are you going to put your Mocha Choca Laja Lada Grande bullshit uh, Starbucks? You know, you have to have cup holders. Otherwise, what's the point in living? Something else you need to ask the seller is, has the oil just been changed with 15,000 mile full synthetic oil? Um, now, this is important. And... Uh, the reason why it's important is because uh, you know you're never going to check your oil. You know you're probably never even going to change your oil. So, um, in fact, maybe you didn't even know this, but I'm going to show you a little secret about cars. Is every car has one of these. This is called the oil cap. Now, if you unscrew this magical cap, you actually have oil inside there. And that's actually where a human being pours oil into a car. If that hasn't been done, make that part of your negotiation. Make that part of the deal. They have to change the oil with 15,000 mile full synthetic and you have to say it just like that. Don't let them, you know, write it down or I'll, I'll leave a link in the, in the description of how to say it um, so that you don't have to worry about it for at least, I don't know, three, four years. And then finally, girls, the th question you need to ask yourself is, is it cute enough? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now is it cute enough? Yeah, so basically, you're gonna be the envy of your friends if you pull up and drive around this cute little car, but is it cute enough? Do you actually need a VW Bug? Do you need uh, an Audi? Um, do you need a uh, Toyota Celica from 1993? You know, what, what is the level of cuteness of car that you require to fulfill your purpose in life? And I suppose the worst case scenario is, is this car too cute for you? So there you have it. That's how you buy a Miata if you're a girl. 
hope I helped. And um, if I left anything out, if you can think of anything else that I could maybe make in a future video on girls and Miatas, drop me a line. Leave a like. I'm sure I'll get lots of likes. <laughs> and I'll talk to you, everybody, next time. Bye. Let me just say right now that this is for entertainment purposes only. I love women. Uh, I spend uh, the majority of my, my other life with girls and women, so please don't think that I'm some misogynistic jerk. Well, I am, but I mean, like, don't think that.